A black body is an object that absorbs all of the light incident upon it, and reflects none back, hence the name. Something that absorbs light is colored black. Now, it's not particularly easy to find an ideal black body here on Earth, but there are a few things that we can do to approximate one. For example, I've got a box here. It's painted black on the inside. And it's got a hole right here in the middle. Now, no matter how much light shines in this hole here, that hole is always going to look black to you, and to me, and to anyone on the outside. Because the light's going to bounce all around on the inside and eventually get absorbed before it ever gets back to the hole and is reflected out. We'll demonstrate using this unnecessarily strong flashlight. The hole remains black from every angle. Now that outcome might have seemed relatively obvious. Of course it'll look black because the inside of that box was painted black. What if instead we have a box that's coated with a reflective aluminum foil? Another example of something with just an uncanny level of blackness to it is this stack of double-bladed razors. The reason this happens with a stack of razor blades is because incoming light will hit in between them and then start reflecting around until it's absorbed. The gaps between the blades are big enough for light to enter, but the angle in between them is so narrow that the light would have to reflect several dozen to hundreds of times before it gets out, and by then it's absorbed. This is a stack of several hundred double-sided razors. When clamped together, they are pitch black. Finally, black bodies emit a spectrum of radiation dependent on their temperature, and the peak of that spectrum goes from low wavelength to high wavelength. At high enough temperatures, that electromagnetic radiation is visible light. It's why heated metal is red hot. It's an approximate black body that's emitting visible radiation. It's also the source of our original light bulbs. Incandescent lights are resistors that have been heated by Ohm's law they get hot enough to emit visible light. At relatively low voltages, it's still emitting electromagnetic radiation. It's just infrared. You could feel it, if not see it. At higher voltages, it's hotter, and it becomes red, then orange. And eventually a broad spectrum of yellow, 